Hello there! Under my recent video on pixelated rendering, somebody asked how did I achieve the shaded look on my objects. So here is a rundown on how I do that. And yeah, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, consider subscribing to the channel, and if you have any questions or just want to help me out by boosting the engagement, leave a comment down below. This said, see you at the end of this one. For our tune shader to work, we're going to take the normal vector of each face on the object and calculate the dot product between that and the main light's direction. That is going to give us a value between negative 1 and 1, so we want to find a way to map that to a 0 to 1 interval. Now we're going to take this value from 0 to 1 and use it to shade our object, and we're going to do so by sampling a color ramp or shadow ramp that we're going to paint in whatever software you want, and that is going to define our brightness banding for the material. First, for each pixel, we want to take the normal vector and calculate the dot product between that and the main light direction. The main light is going to be a custom function node that has some custom HLSL code to return either mock data for the direction and the color of the main light in the shader graph preview window, or the actual direction and color of the main light when rendered in the scene or the game view. Then we want to take the dot product result and remap it from an interval of negative 1 to 1 to 0 to 1, so first we add 1 and then divide by 2. Let's take the result of our multiply operation and plug it into a sample texture 2D node that we will use to sample the shading ramp. Then we can take whatever channel of this sample node and use it to interpolate between a dark color and a lit color and the base effect is actually achieved. To spice things up a little bit, let's try and add some rim lighting. What you want to do is take a Fresnel node and plug it into a step node. We're going to use a step threshold to decide where to cut off our Fresnel effect. Then we want to take that and the result of the multiply node and plug them into a maximum node to take the maximum value and use that to sample the texture. Well, you can really just skip the step node step and just plug the Fresnel node into the maximum and you're going to achieve a result that is similar but a bit more subtle. And that's it, I hope you enjoyed this shorter form video than usual, and yeah, please check the description for more resources on the topic, and this said, yeah, I've been Peter, you've been great, see you next time.